Okay, I think we need to see this one here. The Brutal World of Charlton Motel. Rotang and Stamp Fairtex documentary. So, Rotang, one of the most famous Muay Thai fighters out of all of them, I would say. And it's a documentary about him. So, welcome to the Day documentary reaction. Let's go. This is the story of two of them. The king and queen of one championship. They are the fiercest combat athletes okay. from the East. And their journey encapsulates everything Muay Thai culture stands for, from struggle, sacrifice, and eminence. The dark twists and turns of their careers tells a tale of what it means to be a child of Muay Thai. That looks crazy well produced. Wow, okay. 22-year-old Ironman Rod Zangjik Wangnon. He had his first fight when he was eight years old. Moved oh, to Bangkok crazy! When he was eight years old. Joined the Jip Wang Non Gym at the time when he signed. I wasn't even thinking about fighting back then. Was 250, 40, and 10 is his professional Muay Thai record. That's Rob Tang's fight record. 250, 40. Wow, that's crazy, man. Shit. He's a, such a veteran of the fight game, which is crazy considering he's 23 years old. Rod Tang, the Iron Man. In such a short career, he had become synonymous with the sport of Muay Thai. And his story, much like many practitioners of this sport, began at age eight. Thailand lives and breathes the art of eight limbs. For many, it is a crucible to prove strength and courage. For others, it is a mean of defense. But for Rod Tang, it was a platform to pull his family out of poverty. Rather than a life of labor, farming, or in a factory, Rod Tang knew that a devotion to combat would be his means of clawing his way out. The greatest Muay Thai fighters often start training and competing from a very early age. Their training regimes often extending for hours on end. This ruthless training produces fearless combatants. And for Rod Tang, that passion for concentrated violence flowed through his veins from birth. And by his teenage years, Rod Tang had become a merciless practitioner of the Look sport. at his kicks, man. It's a fire. I wouldn't just be in the way. And with each fight and each win, Rod Tang's name would begin to circulate on the regional scene. Whispers of a terrifying opponent on the rise. For men in this sport, training in Muay Thai is almost a cultural expectation. But for females, they endure a far harder social pressure. When we look at the pantheon of female athletes that won championship, Why they have most the premier pressure? organization in the East showcases, it might be easy to assume that their path to the pinnacle of their respective sports was easy. But Stamp Fairtax's journey to the top provides a rather different perspective. Nice one. <laughs> Okay. Wait, how was this filmed? Did they film her when she was eight and then come back? Or? No, that doesn't make sense. Maybe some old footage. Stamp had chosen to walk the path of combat with the intentions of defending herself from bullies. What had transpired instead was the discovery of an incredible talent, one that was crafted and honed under the guidance of her father and a relentless training regime. Her father was a local legend. His Muay Thai career was lengthy and storied, but he left it behind after the birth of his children and instead pursued a career in farming. Unlike Rod Tang, Muay Thai was not the only means of survival for Stamp. <laughs> I mean, it's up. I mean, it's yeah, sure, it's up to her, but it's also a good question because how long can you sustain just such a lifestyle? I mean, you can get injured, then everything is breaking apart, and you maybe can be a trainer, but is that going to be a good thing when you have like, yeah, I don't know if this is the way to sustain or provide for your family. She instead wished to do it to live up to her father's legacy and to defend herself. Her skills would see her rise to become champion of her weight class, one which she would continue to dominate in until eventually running out of competition. She ran out of opponents, <laughs> even of male. <laughs> Crazy. ไม่ค่อยยอมรับค่ะผู้หญิงเป็นเพศที่ต้องอ่อนแอต้องกุลสตรีแล้วคือถ้ามาต่อยมือก็คือผู้หญิงทุกคนมาต่อยมือก็ค
The dream of becoming a You know, that, that's, the, that's the beautiful thing about martial arts. I mean, if you practice martial arts and you are from a background like her and you challenge those preconceptions about how somebody has to be and you are successful with you're completely going to destroy those things and this is a good thing what martial arts can offer i mean wow <laughs> that's so good. that's so cool legendary muay thai fighter and following in her father's footsteps was put on hold the culture of thailand pushed back against stamps aspirations the message was clear there is no place for female martial artists in thailand a pill that was certainly hard to swallow stamp would hang up her gloves and turn to studies heading to university but turning her back on muay thai in her mind was only a temporary measure she remained hopeful that one day she would return to the sport while stamp moved away for her studies rod tang had begun to make quite the name for himself becoming one of the most highly touted muay Thai practitioners in the country and at such a young age his record had already oh no 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 no! did you see this oh shit no 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 most highly touted Muay look at this look at this country. look what this guy's doing look at the exercise and at such a young he's doing side <laughs> sideways with the dumbbells <laughs> why this doesn't make sense because he's moving the weight out um, and in again but the weight, the gravity of the weight pulls down. So I don't know what he's trying to train here. If it's side delts, so the side of the shoulder here, what I suppose it is, because that's usually something pretty um, important for fighting, then you should lift up your elbow like this here as just a side lateral raise. If you do want to train the road rig, which is here inside, which is often like, uh, injured in fighters or in uh, combat sports or in martial arts because it can get torn easily because the muscles are very weak and small then you need a resistance that goes in this direction and then you would do kind of young this move but not that one day she would like at such a young age like this shit here that he does no i yeah maybe the trainer didn't know about strength and conditioning but yeah his Moving on. <laughs> had already surpassed 200 wins in the sport, a nearly impossible number of fights to comprehend. And the more astonishing fact was that in almost every outing, he was dominating and terrifying in equal measures. Crazy how they take the blows to the head. Rod Tang had shown the world his undeniable prowess for the sport. Needless to say, his tenacity for the sport had caught the attention of one championship, who were quick to offer him an opportunity to fight inside the circle. And from there, he would not disappoint his home nation of Thailand, as he proceeded to put on devastating performance after devastating performance. What the fuck? How he did just... What was this, man? Look at this. Oh, shit. Boom. What the fuck? That man is crazy. I remember. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was an awesome reference. Whilst Rod Tang was paving the way for a rise in one championship, his eyes firmly set on the Muay Thai World Championship, things had started to shift in Thailand. A change in perception that was allowing for doors to open for female athletes to compete. Stamp would jump at the opportunity to give her all to the sport that she had loved. <laughs> Her performances inside of the cage and her lengthy history as a child athlete had caught the attention of renowned martial arts gym, Fairtex. Their coaches were looking for a talented combat sports athlete to recruit as their first professional female athlete. Not only was Stamp clearly the practitioner to fit the bill, but her aspirations aligned perfectly with what the gym had in mind. A female to dominate at the top level in multiple sports, but in particular, creating from the ground up an MMA superstar. It was during this time that Rich Franklin, who was shooting his one Warrior series, would stumble across the gym and there was one athlete who caught his eye because it was uh it was almost like live and he was just looking for the holes that she needed to yeah. fix and uh, it was just it was very smart training 
Rich Franklin would offer Stamp the opportunity to fulfil her dreams by competing on the One Warrior series, which would offer her a contract with one championship. And for Stamp, there was no better place to prove what female athletes were capable of than in the circle of one. But standing in her way was her MMA debut in front of Franklin, a man who she had to impress to earn the contract and a chance to compete in one. An organisation that was more than happy to place a female on one of the grandest stages on earth and to provide a platform to showcase their skills, heart and passion. The pressure doesn't get any more palpable than the position Stamp would put herself in. Fairtex Jim's name was on the line and her mission to inspire female athletes the world over rested on this moment. I just don't think anyone was prepared for how fast she was about to propel to the top. But do not swallow the ring. Clean fight, clean fight. Cut you off. Go on. Ready? Go! Stamp had already in such a short time cemented her spot as one of the most talented female combat athletes in the East. But Stamp's dream of becoming a role model for female fighters in the East was not about to end there. Her next fight in one would be for a second title, in a second sport. This time she was fighting for the opportunity to become one's atomweight Muay Thai champion and to fulfil that mission to live up to her father's legacy. Both of you also have good goosebumps, but I feel it. Rod Tang, who had been chipping away at the comp
potential for both of these competitors I it's am hard 25, to imagine where they could end up by the end no, of their I careers don't. but in the midst of each of their soaring rise to the top the world was about to change just a little outside one of bangkok's famous thai boxing stadiums a makeshift coronavirus testing clinic has been set up mm. it's for fighters spectators and anyone else who was here in recent days as the number of cases surged in thailand including a cluster at another boxing stadium across town. The Prime Minister has ordered entertainment venues and bars to close for two weeks. At the start of the pandemic, lockdown would smother Thailand into stillness. And as the world fractured into isolation, fate would push two unlikely people towards each other. Two athletes who had come from nothing and risen into stardom with one would cross paths at a rather strange time. <laughs> แล้วก็ไปเหมือนไปดูสวนทุเรียนไปอะไรเงี้ยไปพักผ่อนที่บ้านใช่ครับแล้วก็ซ้อมสองคนอยู่ที่บ้านอะไรประมาณนี้คร
critically injured maybe even look at this head fully exposed here yeah okay maybe but with the round kick that maybe comes across and this is no defense here this is no defense if that kick would have gone through yeah <laughs> i think we can imagine what would have happened here wow. sometimes it's the things that you don't do It's an event that cannot be understated, as both Stamp and Rod Tang are joined by headliners Demetrius Johnson and Adriano Moraes in a rubber match to define not only their division, but what greatness truly means in mixed martial arts. But ultimately, I think it's important to remember that as fight fans, and certainly those that want a story to be told, the romanticization, glorification and convolution of these athletes' journeys, from brawls in childhood competitions to the biggest stage imaginable, is that that is the thin veneer covering the gruelling level of training and dedication these athletes sacrifice their lives to. When we see Stamp and Rod Tang walk down the ramp, we are seeing a dream manifested, a flicker in the eye of a young six-year-old Thai boxer with a dream to have a more fulfilling life, one that is found through talent and sheer resolve. 30,000 children all vying for an exit, and we get to see the ones who inspire that generation, showing that Muay Thai is a viable avenue to success. It's not luck or a miracle that has brought them here, it's sacrifice, it's relentless training and dedication, it's some of the most taxing circumstances a child can voluntarily endure. A combination of hard to imagine conditions that in some odd twist of fate has spewed out champions. It's a blessing we get to see these stories play out in real time. The hope of a young athlete, a village, a family, all working tirelessly for a life with so much more meaning that has finally been realised. And so the next time Stamp and Rod Tang enter the ring, what we are witnessing is two fighters show thousands of children in their home country that the dream held on by just a thread is possible. That is what it means to be a child of Muay Thai. It's the post production. Okay, let's have a quick look at this. I oh, know nobody produced by, yeah. So it's a big team behind those. Nice one. If you're interested in more Muay Thai content, then I have um, another reaction to somebody in the Muay Thai community, Jasmine Parr, the princess of the art of eight limbs. Watch this video by clicking here, and I would say, Go to training, go to the weights, do your sparring, and let's see us in the next episode where it means Sunday documentary react next week. See ya.